It was so terrifying. It really was scary. A terrifying afternoon flow for Sydney Sansbury as she came across what she thought was a furry friend. Um, and I'm like, oh, there's an otter. It was 20, probably 20 feet away from me. And that's when things went from bad to worse. And just about the time I said that, this otter was attacking me and it was on my tube and it was biting down on me so hard. And that was the most terrifying thing is it wasn't the clawing or the scratching. It was just powerful. It was biting me. The otter attack, sending Sansbury to the hospital with severe injuries. It bit through my hand here and through my finger here. You can kind of see under the cast I have like big scratches all the way down my arm. I, have, I had eight stitches in my head. My hand has pins in it. I'm not After my hand, I was really protecting my hands because it, I didn't want to not have fingers. The incident occurred here along the Madison River Bridge just north of West Yellowstone. And as a result of the attack, Fish, Wildlife and Parks posting signs like this one, letting people know about this vicious otter, hopefully preventing future incidents. We also put out a press release. Um, we're letting people know in the West Yellowstone area. That's where we're concerned about really at this time. Obviously, there's a, an otter there or a group of otters that is acting in this way. As Fish, Wildlife and Parks continues to alert the public to the danger for Sydney, she continues to heal physically but isn't quite over the scary moments in the water. Well, I don't want to get in the river. I grew up floating the river, but there's nothing I could do differently to protect myself or to not irritate the otter because I wasn't doing anything. So I feel like there's nothing I could do differently. It just happened and it could happen to anyone. In West Yellowstone, Adam Bell, MTN News.